and set it equal to zero. And over here, we are going to take the current student test score total. We are going to subtract our lower score that we've figured out. And that is going to give us the new total, the new student test score total which we have. So new student test score total is going to take whatever our total was with all the four scores minus our lower score. So we have a new, new student test score total. Now we need to find a new average. And so the new average is going to be our new total, right? We know with our new total, we subtracted one score from it. Previously, when we were calculating the, the student test score average, we were taking the total of all four scores, assuming we had four scores, and dividing by the length of the array, which is four scores. Over here, with our new student test score total, we have subtracted the lower score from the, the entire total with four scores. And so out of the four scores, we've subtracted one score. And so when we are finding the new average, okay, we need to take the new student test score total, okay, and we divide by not four scores anymore because we've subtracted one score from it. So we divide by three scores. So if there are four scores in this array, when we're calculating this, when we're calculating this uh, previous okay average without any score drop, we're dividing by the length of the array because if you, are, you have four scores, we are adding all of them up and dividing by four. Okay, if you have four scores, the length of the array will be four. So the way to get one less than the length of the array is by dividing. Okay, the way to get a new average. Okay, is by dividing the new total by not the length of the array, but but the length of the array minus one, minus one is one score because we've subtracted the lower score, okay, to get the new total. And so if you're finding the average, we need to take the new student total minus not, not, the, um, not, 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 the, not, the, not all the scores, but all the scores minus one because we, we subtracted one score from over here. I'm going to surround it with parentheses just so it's clear. So over here, the new student test score total divided by the length of the array minus one, one minus one because we took out one score gives us the new average. So I'm going to come up here and, de and declare a variable. It's going to be a double because it's, we are dealing with an average. The average could end up being 60.5, 80.2. Right, so double, I'm going to call it new student test scores average. And so new student test scores average is going to store our new average, which is our um, new student test scores total divided by one less than the, the than the length of the array because minus one again because we took out one score. So this is our new test scores average. Now, previously we were returning the student test scores without any lower score drop. This time around we want to return the new test score average, right? So we can use that information to get a new letter grade. But let's go. Let, you know, let's let's go a step further because I want us to actually. In our main method, in our in our program that's going to test the class, I want us to I want you to also have access to the lowest score so we can display it in our in our string when we are displaying to the user that okay your lowest score was this and it, when when you take it out of your or when you re recalculate you're going to get this average and this letter grade and so let's return not just this the, uh, the new student test score average let's return as a matter of fact we can you can put this here you can put this in this code under it just so under this line here so it's organized but it still works okay it still works let's return the new student test score average and also the lower score let's do that and if you're returning two items then you can't just return them you know directly you can't just say return the, the student's average um, the, sorry the new average and then a lower score you have to return them in an array right and so i'm going to create an array here that's going to store these two details the lower score okay and the new student average it's going to be a double one-dimensional array, right? It's going to store arrays, the, the lower score, which is a double, and the new average, which is a double. And then I'm going to call it new student uh, scores details, uh, new student scores details, yeah, something like that. So I'm going to create it. This is a class type variable, or well, this is a, or basically an array. It's going to be a variable uh, that's going to store um, an array. It's going to reference an array. 
So now we are creating the array array in memory. So I'm going to create a new double array. And this array is going to hold two items. Two items, the lower score and the new average. And so once we found all the details, once we found the lower score, once we found new test scores average, Let's store the values in here. New student, the, the new student scores details in the, fir in the very first slot, okay, which is zero, which has an index of zero, is going to let's store the lowest score in there. So it's going to be called to lowest score. And in the very second slot, which has index one of this array, because we said it was going to hold two items. The first, the first item has index 0, second item has index 1. That is going to hold our new student test course average. And then when we're done, let's return this new student, all right, this, this array, this new st uh, student scores details. Uh, wait, new student scores details. Let's, let's call this test scores details. I know the names are long, but you know it helps with making things a bit clear. Name it however you want, though, as long as it's clear to you. And so once we store the values in there, let's go ahead and return this array. Return new student test scores details. But previously we set a return type of this method to a double. But over here we are returning, over here we are returning, sorry, one second. Over here we are returning a new um, we're returning a double array, one-dimensional array. We set it previously to just a double, so we need to modify the return type from, from a double to a double array. We're returning a double array, okay? And so we're done with this method here. Let's compile this to see if we have any errors, and yes, we do. Let's fix it. All right, so new student scores test, new student scores test details. It's, it's new student test score details, right? That's how we named it. We named it as new student test scores details. But over here, I said, I said new student scores test details. It's confusing. So I'm going to copy this here and give it the right name. And then it's the same with this as well. I think this is correct. So compile, and then we're done. So now we need to go to our program that's going to test this class and modify things as well. All right, so uh, let's see what we have to do. So we are, so currently again as it stands, let's just let me just change this to again two students, uh, two scores each, and then run again how how our program is currently. It's using the the previous um, class, right? Um, previous class because we've made a uh, let's see we've made a copy of this calculate average uh, test score. We made a copy of that, so we still have this method in here. And currently, it's using that method to calculate the average. So it's working like the previous program currently. I'm going to enter K, scores 56, 78, and then again, John, 67, 56. So currently, this, this is how it works. Let's add some information to it. After it displays, K has sc scores this with average, this, letter grade, this. Right under it, let's just say something like um, um, Dr um, dropping the K's lowest score of let's say 56 gives him a new average of this. Let's grade that. All right. Let Let's try to add the string K okay, to the to the um, to the information. So so it, so it makes sense. So this is over here. This is the 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 loop that displays uh, the text. And so we're going to add add to it so that you know it makes more sense. You know uh, reading it. So let's see, we need, we need a lower score. At the same time, we need a new average. And so remember, anytime we call calculate average test scores, um, I know it's a really long name, <laughs> I know. Calculate average test score with the lower score drop. When we call this method, it returns a two-dimensional array, which contains the lower score of the, of the student, and then, and then the new test score average. All right, so in the loop, right, in the loop, we're going to call this method. The reason why we're going to call it in the loop is because we need the index of the of the current student. Because we are passing in, um, we're going we're going to pass in the particular score, okay, of that of that particular index uh, of, of that particular student. We're using the index, we're going to refer to that student by its by its index. So that's why we're going to call 
okay, that method in the loop so that we can use the current uh, student index to refer to the particular scores that, or the particular array that contains the scores of that particular student. Okay, so I'm going to refer to the class of 2018, okay, and then call that method. So dot, we are using the access operator, the dot operator, to access a method in this particular object, okay, created from this class. And so the method is called, again, it's a long name, calculate average test score with the lowest score dropped. It's long, again, modified to something that makes sense. So class of 2018, the calculate average test score with the lowest score dropped. We know that this method needs the student test score. In our previous program, we pulled the student test scores array. We pulled it. We pulled it. Um, and so over here, we're going to refer to that array, okay, by, so we're going to refer to the, the test scores of the students by the index, all right? So in this, we are going to use a student test scores array right here. We, we pulled information uh, from the class in the student test scores array. So we're going to use a student test scores array here and, and refer to the, okay, the, the, the row, okay, or the array that contains this particular student scores. So we're going to use this index to refer to that particular student. So we are calculating, okay, the average test score of this particular student with a lower score dropped. We know that that's going to, according to this method and the way we defined it, it's going to return the new student test scores details, okay? It's going to return it as, as an array. And so we need an array to store this value. So I'm going to come up here and create another double array that's going to store those two values. It's going to be a double one-dimensional array. I'm going to still keep the name um, student, um, let's, let's, let's call it, I'm going to keep the name new student test score details. It doesn't matter if you use another name. It doesn't matter if you use the same name because in the scope of this um, array here is, is within this main method here, is within this, 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 this main method. And the scope of this um, array here is within this um, this method here, this calculate average test score with the lowest score drop method. So it doesn't matter. It's like they're, they're like they're, they're like um, they are different. You know, they're they're like twins, but they are different because they are in different methods. Okay, and even different um, files. You know, for for that matter, or different classes. You can you can put it that way. So I'm going to keep the name new student test scores details, and we know that this method call here is going to return a, um, a one dimensional array with the details of the new um, 